a hard fought game. Um, I think the second half, being the second half, this was really got us. Um, lost focus defensively. They start making their run. But we fought back. That's the thing. Um, I'm proud of the guys that fought back. Uh, we made our run. They really tied up. Mark made a big shot to, to, to put to put us in a chance to really win the game. Uh, and LaQuinn Walsh made a great shot. Uh, it's, not, it's not about the last shot of the game. Uh, it's about, you know, I think that second that second half run for them is what really set us, set us apart in the second half. But uh, our team did a great job of, of fighting back. Uh, we didn't give up. You know, most teams would have get, given up in that, in that position and, and, and just let Ohio State go on a run and beat them by 20. Uh, but I think we fought back. We played a good game. So it's kind of really hard to be upset about a game like that. Um, it came down to a last possession, but uh, I thought our guys played hard. So what did like Coach you tell you in the locker room after the game? Uh, keep your head up. Um, I think we, we all felt that we played hard. So, I mean, it would be different if we went out there and lost by 20 and we didn't do the things we wanted to do, but we did some of the things that we wanted to do. And some of those guys are uh, great players. Deshaun Thomas is a good player. LaQuinn Walsh is, is a great player as well. Um, Aaron Kraft really gets those guys going. And it's not like we just went out there and execute. Uh, we slipped for a little bit, but we got back at it. There's one thing you could tell your younger teammates as you leave Arizona. What would it be? You know, enjoy this feeling. Um, you know, it was a great one. I think everybody really loved, it, you know, the NCAA tournament playing in it, uh, being able to move on from one site to another, uh, but want it more next year. Um, you know, take this experience, and if you want to get back to here, you got it starts now. Uh, I think their mission really starts now. You can probably get a week or two to really relax, uh, but it starts all over again, um, just like how we lost to NIT. Last year, it was the right back, getting back on the right path and getting those guys in and, and starting to plan for that, that trip. They, they just they played hard, and we played hard too, but, you know, they wound up making some tough plays, and that's how the game goes. Um, we had a great season. Um, we, it didn't end the way we wanted it to end, but we did some remarkable things this year, and um, hopefully the young guys can continue what uh, me and Solomon, you know, Mark started. Um, uh, one of my favorite memories getting to the lead eight uh, two years ago um, and being Duke, you know, in the Sweet 16. Um, that's something I'll never forget. Um, another memory of this year was, you know, winning the Diamond Head Classic because everybody gave him a full effort and that's why we took the tournament. But uh, that's just a few things. <sighs> I mean, it's tough. Just like I said, uh, working so hard since June, July. Um, we we had a, a pre preseason trip this year. We went to the Bahamas. Just working hard every single day. It's it, it's tough, definitely to to know that it's over now. What's next for you? What, uh, what's, what's on the horizon for you? Definitely not. Um, just get ready for next year. We we got a great team coming back. We got a lot of young young guys. Um, be one year older, one year wiser. Just getting ready for next year I mean so much I, I couldn't even tell you we'd be here all night so much um, I mean just from Chiefs he, he's been a, a huge part of my growth this year um, him coming in transferring just his confidence uh, and um, I mean like he said after the game to me just stay confident and, and, and work hard and, and everything will be, be alright